Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of me watching Game of Thrones for the first time. I'm really excited to jump right back into this. Uh, so far we've been introduced to some of the main characters, some that I was aware of. As I said in the first video, I have been somewhat spoiled on some things regarding the show. Still though, like I'm going in completely blind. Outside of some scenes or moments, I have no idea what goes on in the show and in the episodes. So, so yeah, let's not waste any more time, a short intro today, and jump straight into the show. I'm paying attention to the intro because I think like it's different from the first episode a little bit. It's kind of interesting. I wish they would just show us like a panoramic view of the whole map. Like how far is this kingdom to this king this country rather from this country, you know? Isn't there anything else? The Dothraki have two things in abundance. Grass and horses. People can't live on grass. So they the horses. It'll get easier. That's easy for you to say, right? Okay, so I like this. We're getting a closer look into the Dothraki culture, the Dothraki people. Because from the first episode, honestly, I really just saw them as completely barbaric. I'm sure that was on purpose, and I'm sure they're going to show us, you know, that there, it, there's more to them than what we saw in the first episode. What were you doing in the stables? Better looking bitches than you're used to, Uncle. <laughs> Why did you violate him like that? The boy means nothing to me. I can't stand the wailing of women. <laughs> One word, and I'll hit you again. I'm telling mother! <laughs> Go. Do you understand? You can't. <laughs> Do you understand? Why is she abusing him like that? Is this like, you know, every day for them? Sir, I'm going to be honest, if you let the dwarf forget, reach your face and slap you that easily. Ah, time for breakfast. They were quick too, like BAM! Is Bran going to die? Yeah, I was going to ask, are they going not are they not going to address Bran? Mister says the boy may live. Uh oh. I mean what did you guys expect? Like it Yeah, it was a big fall, but like unless you Made sure that the kid was dead. All the rest of us can do is o obviously, he could have just walked away with a broken leg or something. You don't know. Very sloppy from the Lannisters. The greatest structure ever built. The so who found the kid? Don't let that woman near your child. Heard about Severus. I came to take his body away. That's a weird. And Robert I don't know. Me, I screamed and I battled, but he held me. Just walked into the room and started this monologue about. Did Bran break anything? Like, what's the damage? We don't know. Broken legs, broken spine, head first. Oh my god, the wolf. Thank you, Nymeria. So pretty. Yeah? Gloves. Not the head tilt. I have something for you. Few things in life get me easier than a dog doing this. Or others. It's 
so skinny. So were you. I had the blacksmith make it for you. Stick him with the pointy end. I know which end to use. I'm just going to make a guess. Right? I have a feeling. I had it since the previous episode. I think Bran dies. And she takes over the mantle of the warrior in the family. Because they teased in the first episode him training okay, and her being rough. better at it. Yes, you know? But they weren't considering her as the next one up in the I think they called it the Night's Watch, you know, where they are right now. And they're supposed to protect, you know, the kingdom. So I think she's going to take the mantle of your brother. That's just a guess. I have no idea. I want you to leave. Have I missed something? Was there a little bit of animosity in that? Or was she just like, I don't want you to see your brother like this? Or her? Back a year later with another woman's son. Mm. And now you're leaving again. They went on a course. Mm. So there was a little Tell bit of, Tell you know, towards John you Snow. You have a choice. Watching her own, and her actual mean? son. You know, in this situation. Yeah. Hmm. The next time we see each other. We'll talk about your mother. Mm -hmm. I promise. Please don't tell me that they are not going to see each other after this. That's something that a writer would do. <laughs> when we next meet, we're going to talk about this. They never meet again. Yeah, I don't know what to make of, of, of them two. She's little more than a child. Soon enough, that child will spread her legs and start breeding. Tell me we're not speaking of this. Oh, it's unspeakable to you. <laughs> not a single episode. <laughs> it's two. It's been two episodes. This has been in like five, six scenes. <laughs> Three of them have been this. Come on, Game of Thrones. Amelia Clark deserves better than this. Well, my brother has his sword, and I have my mind. And a mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone. That's why I read so much Jon Snow. And you? What's your story, bastard? Ask me nicely and maybe I'll tell you. Dwarf. Hmm. I like the relationship. Bastard boy. There's definitely a slower pace to this episode. Less things happening. I was going to say, you're going to walk in on... Here, knock that sound. Talk about spendings. Yeah, read the room, bro. Not the right time for this. You stay here, I'll come back. Did I speak too soon on that nothing has been happening on this episode? Fire? You're not supposed to be here. No one's supposed to be here. What the fuck? It's a mercy. He's dead already. No! <laughs> No, no, no. Game of Thrones, you won't do this. Yes, yes. Good boy, getting boy. That's why you need dogs slash wolves. A man's best friend. Who was that? Why was he there? How did nobody see him? Why was everything on fire? Dragon gone, Khaleesi. Everyone. What type of accent was that? Even in the East? <laughs> First, you must learn. The oldest profession. Can you teach me how to make the call happy? 
I mean, I'm going to be honest, he, he has been looking pretty satisfied this whole time. Okay. She's getting her detective on. Don't tell me that the Lannisters are on the same spot again. That would be stupid. What could she possibly find? <laughs> You're joking. A hair? She found a strand of what I am about hair. to tell you must remain between us. Bran fell from that tower. Writers. I think he was thrown. Writers. The boy was always sure footed before. Finally! Someone tried to kill him twice. Somebody told him that, that I, Luke was not working. I an innocent child. But writers. He saw that's how she found out. Saw to our home and try to murder my brother. If it's what they want, it comes to that. How quickly did they come to that conclusion though? Like to be a battle in the gods It was a hair. Huh? She found a hair. I don't want the they was informed that the king was Let killed, right? This. So they have the reason to suspect that they could have done it. Okay, that makes sense. But like this, I don't know. I'm not buying it. That's all I'm saying. But hey. So the person that came in with a knife was... Right? By the Lannisters mercenary to kill her and the kid just the kid horrible mercenary by the way I these girls whole arc Kings traveled across the has world been this with their Majesties sold their I know it gets better for her Cal's I know it does just to have her for a few but like hours. first episodes I don't think the Drago will like it with me on top you will make him like it Khaleesi there you go. Men want what they've never had. And the At least some, slaves like a hound you know, a bitch. give her something. Are you a slave, Khaleesi? Think that this is the Dothraki way. If he wanted the Dothraki way, why did he marry you? Because she was offered. Like her brother. These eggs are going to hatch, aren't they? Somehow. I know he said they were stones. <laughs> I guess, you know, ladies need some fun service too. Oh, we're making some progress. Could it have been that easy? You know what? At least now it's in her own terms a little bit. Still, 85% of your screen time so far has been this. <laughs> but we're making some progress for her character. They're frightening so much, girl. Or is it him there making you shake? He frightens me too. Look at that face. Why are you like this? Sun's finally shining. Come walk with me. What do you mean? It's, it, it's been signed. She left the dog slash wolf by itself like that. The corruption begins. Don't worry. You're safe with me. I'll get you. And you're safe from the wooden swords. Pick up your sword, butchers boy. Let's see how good you are. She asked me to, my lord. She asked me to. It's not a sword, my prince. It's only a stick. And you're not a knight. Only a butcher's boy. That was my lady's. Son. I see why he's hated. You know like, Stop it, Arya. Stay out of this. I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Pretty easy. Much. Didn't take much screen time. Uh, yes. MVP, bro. These, these, these boys, these good boys have been the MVP this whole episode. What if she just killed him right here? I know she won't. I know he exists in more episodes, unfortunately. 
Are they going to go after her now? Yeah. Like, okay, 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 I'm going. <laughs> Give that dog an Oscar. Perfect dramatic look back. Joff told us what happened. You and that boy beat him with clubs while you set your wolf on him. That's not what happened! Yes, it is. Of course. They all attacked me and she threw my sword in the river. Liar! Shut up! In now, child. Tell me what happened. You better say tell the truth. And tell it true. Or I'm going to dislike your to character again. very easily. She's going to lie, isn't she? And for what? I don't know. I don't remember. Everything happened so fast. And it, children fight. It's over. Joffrey will bear these scars for the rest of his life. He also has to bear that face for the rest of his life. Which is sad. And that hair. As you will. For Come what? Die wolf's no pet. Get her a dog, she'll be happier for it. If it must be done. Very easily despisable characters. I'll do it myself. On this show, I'm, I'm going to be honest. He deserves better than Sometimes they leave some grey area, right? But with them, it's. The butcher's boy. You rode him down. He ran. Not very fast. Oh boy. Yes, I, I should have expected that. Side character appeared for a few seconds. Don't show it. Don't show it, please. I don't want to listen to it either. That's a pretty shot. And eyes open. I'm a writer, guys, I told you. I should have known when they introduced the Dire Wolves and them being the MVP of the whole episode. So yeah, uh, that's the second episode. As I said, it was a bit slower than the first one, obviously, usually the case, when, you know, you need to really Establish a tone in the first episode, a lot of things, establish the world, the characters. Let me tell you the whole how the mother found out or like or like you know pieced it together. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of. We had uh, we got more time with the Lannister's son, the boy. Now I fully understand the hate. I get it, I totally get it. It only took one and a half episodes. He only needed three scenes. Is Easily read him down as possibly the worst character. Followed by his mother. We got more of the Dothraki. <coughs> Still not satisfied with the character of Kalisi so far. At least in this episode, we see her, you know, kind of taking control of the few things she can take control over. We have established a pairing that I think I'm going to really enjoy with Jon Snow's character and I'm forgetting the name, the Dwarf Lannister. And I think I'm going to really enjoy. You know, if they're going to be paired up together, I'm going to enjoy those two. You know, they both, in a way, feel rejected by their families, undesired by their families, you know, looked at in a certain way for their own reasons. They kept showing the eggs. I know dragons are a big part of the show. Or rather, at least the reference of dragons. So I'm expecting these eggs to somehow hatch eventually, probably way down the line. And another thing that I enjoy 
in a way, is the relationship that they're showing between the king and Sean Penn's character. I and I can tell if it's for necessity. You know, he needs Sean Penn's character. I'm going to remember the names eventually, guys. Like Ned, right? He he needs Ned. You know, he has always needed him. From what we've we've seen, from what we heard from the stories, right? And I don't know if it's just that, you know, just the beneficial relationship that he wants to cultivate, or if he actually like actually has actual positive feelings for him. I mean, they do like they behave as friends, right? But as I said in the previous episode, we all have experienced those those type of relationships where one person was only benefiting from the relationship. And it was they, the relationship was good for you know a joke or there, some talk about you know whatever, but there was nothing meaningful behind it. I really enjoy, you know, seeing that relationship unfold as well. It was a good episode. Was it as good as the first episode? I don't think so. As I said, a lot slower, you know, but you can't have, you know, every episode going a hundred percent all the time. You know, you need some time to sit with these characters and. You know, delve more into them and, and their relationships with one another. But yeah, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.